The Project Coastal Highway Route 39 is exploring the technological challenges and social impacts of establishing a ferry-free road connection between Christiansen and Trondheim. The E39 extends for nearly 1,100 kilometers and across seven fjords, which today must be crossed by ferry. There is a political desire for permanent links across these fjords. The Norwegian Public Roads Administration has launched a technological development project to assess the requirements for crossing the wide fjords of Western Norway. In this project, we are building on the expertise of the offshore industry. The Norwegian oil industry has developed huge installations, both fixed and floating, for use offshore in increasingly deep waters. The Sony Fjord provides a prime example of the challenges represented by the fjords. If the Sony Fjord can be spanned on the stretch between Lavik and Oberdal, bridges can also be built across all the other fjords. A bridge across the Sony Fjord will be significantly longer than any similar existing structures. In this project, we have considered three different bridge designs. A single-spanned suspension bridge, a floating bridge, and a submerged floating tunnel. Other bridge designs may also be possible. A suspension bridge across the Sony Fjord would have a main span of 3,700 meters. This is nearly three times the length of the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco and double the current world record length. The two bridge towers would reach a height of 450 meters which is 150 meters taller than the Eiffel Tower. Another alternative is a floating bridge. In this case, a triple-spanned suspension bridge. Two of the bridge towers will stand on floating pontoons, which are anchored to the seafloor with anchors and mooring lines. Each of the towers will reach a height of 200 meters. The pontoons are 75 meters in diameter and will stretch 180 meters down beneath the surface. This idea is taken from the offshore industry, where large platforms are anchored in deep water in the same manner. A submerged floating tunnel is a new type of crossing that has never been built. The submerged floating tunnel we are considering consists of two curved concrete tubes that are submerged in the fjord, floating approximately 20 meters below the surface. The submerged floating tunnel enters the bedrock beneath the surface on each side of the fjord and is anchored to floating pontoons on the surface. The tubes are approximately four kilometers long and are connected with trusses at regular intervals. Motorists would have the same experience driving in a submerged floating tunnel as in any other concrete tunnel. A submerged floating tunnel entails strict safety requirements similar to those that apply in ordinary tunnels. Escape routes are available through the trusses between the tubes. 
The study shows that it is technically possible to build a bridge spanning the Sony Fjord within a few years. There may also be other solutions that can be used to cross both the Sony Fjord and other fjords along the coastal highway route E39 and elsewhere.